What's up, fight fans? This is Kurt Deville with Counter Punch Boxing News, and I have some new news concerning Luis King Kong Ortiz. Actually, this is a question, okay? We know Ortiz was knocked out cold. He didn't beat the count in the seventh round and his rematch with Deontay Wilder. Now, reports have shown that Ortiz was to receive $7 million, guaranteed. So my question is now, from that initial post to the last informative post, how does $7 million turn into 1.5? Okay. We all know the guarantees were low. Because Deontay Wilder, he made $3 million. Actually, that was a $1 million less than he made for the Tyson Fury fight. But with Ortiz, that did get starched, get laid out on his back. Where is his $7 million guarantee? That's my question. Because it seems like he was put on, high, on ice restricted was not allowed to fight anthony joshua for an, a guaranteed amount and we know that was guaranteed why because it's a streaming service and the zone pays people flat rates okay now we're looking at these figures from before versus now seven million Versus 1.5. Hmm. That's 5.5. So where is the five million, five and a half million dollars at? You know, I don't mind the, the fight game because the bo the boxers they're tough. They know what this comes with. They know it's a risk getting in the ring you know ortiz is fine sure but he took a knockout loss and my question is the reports that we've seen for him had making seven million dollars was that the same thing that they told him because they wanted the public to know or to to reveal that ortiz made seven million dollars well more reports show that he made 1.5. So my question is, which one is which? And if they're saying that he can make seven or he, he's making a guarantee of $7 million, they need to give him $7 million. Because, yeah, he could have won a WBC heavyweight champion of the world. But what would that really mean to him? Honestly, what would that really mean? Would that mean like, hey, you know, uh, it didn't matter anyway because he lost. OK, now. Being that he made his sacrifice, I just think they should pay him. You know, where's Wilder's $20 million? You know what I mean? That went from $20 million to three. You went from $7 million on Ortiz's side to $1.5. So what are they really doing over there at PBC? You know, the numbers are not out yet. As soon as they come out, of course, I'm going to counterpunch it, let you guys know about the numbers to see if they're up to par, to see if they even made a profit off their return. We'll see on the day. But anyway, I just think Ortiz, me being a fan of Ortiz, this was probably his last chance of getting any type of heavyweight belt. Maybe, maybe not, because, you know, of course, the WBO or the IBF may become vacant due to who wins or whatever they might vacate those belts so there's hope but then realistically with first team. really i think that was his last hurrah and for his last hurrah being that he made a sacrifice to skip up a million high career payday i think they should give the man his just due which is his seven million dollars which was news to us at one point of time anyway you guys tell me what you think about Luis Ortiz's salary decrease. Of course, please subscribe. And you guys been counterpunched.
Peace.